chess because we always play checkers in our entire lives. Okay, I'm recording. I don't understand at all. <laughs> So a white has to go on a white, a green has to go on a green. It's my turn now. Oh, okay. It's kind of like checkers too, where you do the... But each one has different moves. Oh. It's like the bishop, the, the um, castle can go up and over, okay? No, I'm sorry, just these go up and straight. These go up and over. She wanted me to get her on video. <laughs> Bishop, you go diagonal. Can you like come to the Oh, okay. Because you seem like you're like, you know a lot about it. I don't know. We know the moves. We're not good. <laughs> <laughs> we know how to play. I actually know how to play.
want big zoom. Look up. Oh, man. Right. Oh, man. 
show, and I have to record this. All right, here comes <laughs> Tiffany from the red team. Tiffany from the red team, trying to make some points for the red team. Tiffany presses her slider into the arena. She's on the one point zone, one point zone. And here comes Mo for the blue team. Mo, I want you to know, Mo, that the blue team has already won this round. So don't do anything to mess that up, Mo. Play it safe. If you catch my drift, Mo is in the sorry zone. It doesn't matter because the blue team takes round number one, three points against one point. We are going to get reset up, and we are going to invite Whitney and Logan from the red team to play against Josh and Linda from the blue team. Red team must win this round to stay in the game. If not, blue team is winning sorry sliders. We're going to start with the blue team with Josh from the blue team. Josh is up. A couple people from the blue team are excited. Josh, give us a push. And Josh has touched the Logan, you can use going. your slider Wait, to push across? Josh into the sorry zone whenever you're ready, Logan. Logan from the red team gives it a push. He tries to push Josh to off into the sorry zone. Good job, Logan. Blue team gets pushed into the three-point zone, and the red team is touching the bullseye. Here comes Linda. Here comes Linda. <laughs> Whoa, let's see this one. They are on the bullseye. Linda, whenever you're ready, you got some work to do for the blue team. All right. Linda from Queens. Do we trust her? <laughs> giving her slider a push. She pushes. And she pulls. She is on the one point zone. We are in the same situation. Red team. And the blue team was in at the you end of last round. We currently have five points. The blue team currently has four points. Oh, Whitney push just pushes into the sorry zone. The red team pushes it to a third round. We are all tied up. One game against one game. It is crunch time as we bring back. Things. Brianna and Mo from the blue team against Aiden and Tiffany from the red team. It all comes down to this studio audience. Who is going to win Sorry Sliders this afternoon? We got confidence from both sides. Both sides. All right. Here comes Aiden. Aiden, it's redemption time. Redemption time, Aiden. Whenever you're ready, give your Sorry Slider a push. Much better this time. Aiden is right. I thought she was falling. Now, Brianna, remember thing. that you can use your slider to push Aiden's slider out of the way. All right, Brianna, all right. she gives it a push. And she pushes Aiden into the sorry zone! <laughs> Tiffany, you can do the same. Tiffany. <laughs> pushes the blue team into the one-point zone. Mo, you have some work to do here in order for the blue team to take over the red team. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we have six points against three points. The blue team is the winner of Sarah Slayer. Look at her jumping, just look at her jumping. Look at that, look at that. Dancing up there. Red Team, you did a fantastic job Triple this afternoon, and just because you are leaving the stage does not mean that you're leaving empty-handed. For coming on stage and playing Sorry Sliders today, everybody is going to get their very own Sorry Revenge, the card game, courtesy of HasbroToyShop.com, as they get some love and some round of applause for their great job this afternoon for our Red Team studio audience. But ladies and gentlemen, we have a... Of Operation Sam Duck Game to see what point value you hit. The plays. longer you wait, the less balls that are being thrown up into Operation Sam Dunk. So my advice is to throw and go. Blue team, do you understand the game? Red team, do you understand the game? Studio audience, are you ready to cheer on your teams this afternoon? <laughs> All right, we are going to get things started. Aaron, come over here and line up right over here with your team, Aaron. That's these guys over there. Yeah. All right. Bill, we're going to start with you. I'm going to take one ball. I'm going to put it in your hand. And when I say go, you're going to get things started for your team, Bill. You're going to throw, go, and get back into line. Can we get 60 seconds on the clock for the blue team? There it is. When I say go on your mark, get set, go! Well the blue team is playing Operation Sam's up. Bill is in for 250 points. There is Tiffany. She misses the point value. Ava just misses. Ava, go, go, back in line, Ava. Oh, back in line. Aaron. 
He throws up. Aaron is just missed the point value. You gotta throw and go. Here comes Bill. He is in for another 400 points. Tiffany is in for 350 points. Ava, interesting technique. Aaron comes in. And Aaron is in for 400 points. Here comes Bill. He's in for 250 points. Tiffany, she just misses those point value. Ava, here comes Aaron. Aaron, throw the ball, throw the ball. Aaron just misses the point value. We have 20 seconds left. Bounced out of the 200. You, uh, Tiffany not able to connect the points. Ava, I love that one. Back the line. Aaron comes up to Operation Sand Duck. Aaron is in for the point. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. That is the end of Operation Sand Duck. Oh, you are in leader circle and currently in the lead. Linda from Queens picked herself the cell phone. Let's see if it's full of lots of Monopoly points. Linda inserts the cell phone. Right down there, Linda. Here I am. Let's look to the screen and reveal that your cell phone is worth 19,500 points. Linda is our new leader. No. You came on stage, you are a winner today, and for being a winner, you're going home with your very own Monopoly Millionaire Deal, the card game, and a $20 gift card to HasbroToyShop.com as we send more back down into the leader's circle. Here comes Josh, who picked himself the plane. Let's see if he can fly away with more than 19,500 points. Josh inserts the plane. We look and reveal that our plane is worth 14,000 points. We Go have ahead. those prizes for you, Josh. Here comes Brianna, who made me that t-shirt. Pick the rollerblade. Now, the rollerblade isn't picked very often. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing, but we're about to find out. Brianna, insert the rollerblade into the Monopoly electronic banking machine. We look to the top of the screen and reveal that your rollerblade is worth 17,500 points, not going to be enough to take Linda out of the leader's circle. Steven, the first of our winners from Operation Sam Dunk, picked the race car. He hopes to race past Linda at her 19,500 points. The race car is in, and we reveal that your race car is worth 21,000 points. Steven is our new leader. Here comes Christine, who picked herself the battleship. Christine, you were once teammates with Steven, and now we're going to battle with him to take over Leader Circle. The battleship is on its way in. There it goes. The battleship is in, and we reveal that our battleship is worth 15,500 points. Thank you, Christine. We have those prizes for you. My friend Dylan picked himself the hat. Dylan, if your hat is worth more than 21,000 points, you're going to take over Leader Circle. Let's find out. The hat is in. Dylan, can you see up here? 16,000 points. We have those. We have those prizes for you. Here comes Kaya. Kaya, you picked the thimble. Kaya, if your thimble is worth more than 21,000 Monopoly points, you will be the winner of Hasbro the Game Show. If not, Steven is taking home that Monopoly prize pack. The points were decided before the show and randomly selected for each of these cards. It's a toss-up, Kaya. We're about to find out if the thimble was the right pick as we look to the top of the machine and reveal that your thimble is worth 12,000 points and it's not going to be enough. That means Steven is the winner of Hasbro the Game Show! Steven, come over here because the Monopoly Electronic Banking Machine is printing out all of your money. All of your winnings. Look at this money. Congratulations to Steven and all of our winners. Steven and winners know we have one more episode of the Hasbro Game Show. Think positively.